Menches have evolved over the last 25 years. What's been identified is that social isolation is one of the key contributing factors to poor health with men in Australia. And what we've really done is created what men had in the workplace. You get people from all walks of life forming relationships in the, in the men's shed environment. Yeah, a lot of mates, I've been, I've been here for 12 years and we've made a lot of, lot of mates and had a lot of good times and we've helped a lot of people. Yeah, we all get along well together and stir one another up and we're all good friends, we all get along quite okay together. And it's just a normal work environment. All the people here are all lovely to get along with and uh, I'd like to think that, you know, they all get along with me. I know the people just mix so well as though you've known them for years. Men's sheds aren't just about, you know, uh, fixing furniture and, you know, building toys and that. They're actually, you know, fixing men and building communities all through that spirit of mateship. A lot of friendships formed and you know, if they, the, the friendships are just as important as being a, a member of the shed. That's what holds the shed together. This coming here just made the whole ball game. It's a place where you, you just naturally fall into a, a friendship with, with these guys here. Yeah. And I, I, I wouldn't leave it for pounds. Wouldn't leave it for pounds. The spirit of mateship's been you know, uh, synonymous with Australian culture for over a hundred years. Through the evolution of the men's sheds and the role men's sheds are playing, that spirit of mateship is here and is strong within our, our shed environment today.